My name's Julie Conrad and I'm now a self-published author. Um, my past work experience was um, I had a 30-year career in social work and I qualified in the early 80s uh, with a BA Honours Social Science degree and a CQSW, uh, which is the qualification in social work. I worked in three London boroughs before moving back to the North West to carry on my career in the Greater Manchester area. Prior to taking early retirement um, for the latter part of my career, I was a regulatory inspector with what is now the CQC. Uh, my latest book, which is available from today, is the third part of the Sarah Jane Raymond trilogy. Uh, Sarah Jane Raymond 1 is subtitled Georgette. Sarah Jane Raymond 2, subtitled A New Life. And Sarah Jane Raymond 3, subtitled Swan Song. I never plan. I never have a beginning, middle or end. I never plot. I like writing psychological thrillers and I would describe Sarah Jane Raymond trilogy more psychological drama. The inspiration behind the story is what most young women, late teens, 20s, the dream of meeting Mr. Wright, um, being swept off their feet and living a fabulous lifestyle. And um, that's, that's where it starts with Sarah. Um, she is swept off her feet by a much older um, CEO of a massive multi-million, well, multi-billion pound um, company uh, where her father works as an accountant in London. <coughs> and um, Sarah meets him by chance and he falls in love with her and seduces her, marries her and she relocates to his home in South Africa in Stellenbosch. Uh, so I think what inspired me to write this book is the dreams, the daydreams, the hopes of young women, young men as well, but in, in this case a young woman, and when this comes true, the reality of life is very different from the dream. I have always loved psychology, psychotherapy. I've, I've done a lot of studies uh, around my work and courses uh, for personal interest. And Sarah is quite young when she marries and relocates to South Africa and I wanted to explore how she would cope with a new life with um, friends of her husband's who were decades older than she was and how she would cope, how she would evolve um, what were her strategies? Um, the answer to that, she had no strategies. And she's feeling her way and almost bluffing her way through her life, pretending to have it all, to be the perfect, you know, wife, to have the happy marriage, to have all the money and um, things money can buy, when really, Deep down, this woman who, you know, as the years go by, appears sophisticated and in control, is really 
emotionally insecure and is desperate to hold control over her life. But due to what happens to her when she initially moves over to South Africa, this was the trigger that changed and warped her psychology. And if you read book one, you will become familiar with the beginnings of her, her life as a married woman and what leads to her psychology being damaged, um, her inexperience, her unworldliness, her, her lack of sophistication, and how she grapples to control everything around her. And this leads on to controlling her firstborn daughter, Georgette, and who becomes a scapegoat, really, um, to all Sarah's mental anguish. And Sarah's means of holding control over her immediate family, she, she becomes quite ruthless and, and quite cruel, in fact, very cruel, particularly to Georgette who she blames, who she scapegoats, who is the butt of all Sarah's angst. Well, that's easy to answer. Um, I just love being swept away in my imagination. I love the creative process um, as I said previously, I never plan, plot, structure, never have a beginning, middle or end. I sit down, I start writing usually about a female character and then the more I get used to her, the more she becomes a rounded individual, the story tends to begin to write itself and she or whoever you, you know you're writing about will have nothing to do whatsoever with your own values and the things you would and wouldn't do this person can do whatever you want them to and i love the fact that um when i'm writing time flies by because i'm so absorbed and the pleasure and enjoyment I get out of creating stories, the sort of stories that I would enjoy and hopefully other people will enjoy, um, is reward enough, you know. Um, I just love it. I just love the creative process. I love the, I love escaping into, you know, someone else's world as you do if you watch a, a fantastic tv drama well i would say just just start writing be it longhand uh on a laptop uh, find somewhere quiet and comfortable within your home or wherever you want to write be it a library or elsewhere and just start writing um as I say, some people will plot and, um, you know, have a, a rough idea of where the story's going. I never do. So I think the main thing is to get words down on the paper, um, think of someone and just start writing. And often, you know, when you get an idea and you go with it, further down the line, the book changes completely just like book titles change um, it's it's just a wonderful thing to do and uh, you know don't worry too much about um, you know whether or not people like it or don't like it if you enjoy it if you like it if you think it's good enough to publish then publish it because you what we mustn't do is censor ourselves or be influenced by, you know, a couple of readers who, you know, don't like the particular theme 
or a genre, shall we say, of your work. The main thing is if you enjoy it and you like it, other people will. And one final word of advice is if you can afford to get the manuscript professionally copy edited because, you know, when you produce your book, you don't want any errors within the material distracting the reader from the story. Um, you want your book to be as perfect as, as it possibly can. I have uh, seven books out now. I have High Places, the first book which I wrote 30 years ago and was in a box until lockdown when I decided to pull it out of the box along with the second book, Demons, polish them up and get them published. I wrote a sequel to High Places, which is Justice. I have the Sarah Jane Raymond trilogy and they're all available at Amazon, um, Apple, all online book providers and retailers. And all my books are available to order at any bookstore. And I have a website, www.julieconrad.co.uk. And I hope you visit the website. I hope you try one of the books, uh, all available, as I say, online, um, Amazon, etc. And good luck with your writing. And thank you.